number one, never leave a child alone in a vehicle. But if you do see a child in a vehicle, get involved right away. Because this is a situation where literally minutes can matter. Minutes turning into seconds Friday afternoon after a 12 month old died after being left in a car. The 10th time something like this has happened in the U.S. just this year. This happens to absolutely anyone. Mebbin police say they responded to a call for cardiac arrest. When they got to the scene, people were already performing CPR on a child. The patient's going to be an 8 to 12 month old baby. Caller about the baby is not breathing. We are giving CPR instructions at this time. Unfortunately, life-saving efforts were unsuccessful. People um, really don't understand how these incidents happen. And they tend to be very judgmental. Um, they tend to want to make monsters out of the people this happens to. And I think that's kind of even like a protection mechanism. Because if they feel like, well, those people are monsters and I'm not a monster, that this couldn't happen to me or my family. Police say the father was inside this building where he worked on Oakwood Street while the child was inside the car. Investigators have yet to determine how long the child was inside the car at the time. Can you imagine the guilt and the grief that he's feeling today? It's, it's just a terrible situation and it's a very misunderstood situation. Jeanette Fennell, president of Kids and Car Safety, says this is the fourth case in a week where a child has been left inside a car in the summer heat. She says it's a common tragedy and hopefully changes can be made to prevent it in the future. In this country, we have the ability to end these unthinkable tragedies. And we have been working for over 20 years to get some technology added to vehicles so this doesn't have to happen. No charges have been filed as of right now. Police have also not yet released the name of the baby or the father. Investigators say they are looking into speaking with the district's attorney office about this case. We're live in the newsroom, Darrell Matthews, Fox A News.